Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ace Blazer and this is my second video. Hoping to meet that one video a week quota. Not exactly, I, I, I know I'm a bit overdue, but hope you got, hopefully you guys will forgive me. Anyways, I thought I'd just post this video. It's gonna be, it's split into two. We've got one video, uh, one bit of it is my current campaign, which is the Rome. I'm playing as Rome on normal. And then the second bit of the video is going to be a battle I had, 3v3, with uh, Paul 230688 and Olaf, also known as Pinks, which who killed himself or committed seppuku. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I just wanted to say um, this video is going to be more about what I've been doing, what I think of the game, and, uh, you know, other thoughts, random thoughts. But yeah, this video is going to be more like a, it's, it's about 10 minutes or more uh, just to talk about uh, stuff. What a well, let's talk about what I've been doing. Um, so, last year, I think it's been about a year since I posted that Fall of the Samurai video. That was when I, around the time I graduated uh, university with an electrical engineering degree. And honestly, I wasn't feeling too great at the time. Um, graduated, was hoping to find a job. I couldn't find one. I couldn't find one for a long time, actually. It's pretty hard up here in Canada for a guy like me that studied mostly uh, stu engineering that was hardware engineering that was geared towards, uh, uh, let's say, the more of the high tech uh, technology. Uh, for instance, uh, stuff that you'd find in a BlackBerry or a telephone. For instance, my uh, main course I did was uh, RF antennas, microwave engineering, and. Um, a lot of uh, companies, let's say, uh, for instance, BlackBerry itself. I mean, one billion dollars lost last year, and it's laying off 4,500 people. That is horrible news for me. Um, another one is Nortel, who went under. Those were that was the company that hired most of the students from my school. So, not doing the greatest uh, job market was. But now I do have a contract job. It's uh, in the nuclear sector. Can't say much more than that. But, uh, you know, it's a job and it allowed me to buy this great computer so I can show off Rome Total War to you guys. Rome 2 Total War. Total War Rome 2. <laughs> but, yeah. On to the game itself. So, yeah, that's where I've been. On to the game. Um, I am a moderator on the forum, the Creative Assembly's TotalWar.com forum. So I do follow the game, uh, despite what many people might, might understand. Um, I... It... The game itself is obviously not what any of us hope for, even Creative Assembly themselves, and I, they know that, everyone knows that. Um, there's so many features that have been left out, and it's definitely one of the buggier releases of the series, I'd say. Uh, it's, it's hard to say whether it's as bad as Rome Total War and Empire Total War. Empire Total War hands down the worst. Lots of backlash for that. Uh, Rome Total War I wasn't around for, but I heard it was also pretty bad, a lot of people couldn't play the game. And if you look back on the forums, there's like support forums and all that stuff, you'll find <laughs> threads there that look just like they do now. I mean, oh, Creative Assembly, you created the worst game ever. I'm not playing this game ever again. And that's Rome Total War. That's that's way back when, guys. Yeah, anyways, I'm a moderator, and I have to deal with some people, which, like, you know, uh, you can't give CA any credit because uh, if you give them credit, then they'll be complacent. And... Uh, that's like uh, telling a child that uh, you you're baby you're babying a child too much. I'm like, what? CA is not a child, and they know what they did. All right, um, and they're trying to make it up to us. I mean, they're releasing a patch pretty frequently, much more frequently than Empire Total War, and in my opinion, they are not nowhere near like the worst developer ever. They're they're kind of like bad. Um, I'm gonna give them some leeway for being a very technolo technologically advanced company, or they're they're pushing the envelope when it comes to PC gaming. So I'm giving them a bit of leeway there. It's not just any old rehash. At the same time, it is no excuse. I mean, you can't keep on putting out buggy games and then like basically beta testing it to the public uh, or releasing it as a beta. You can't really do that. So yeah, there's good and bad. Uh, both ways. Personally, I just, I know, I kind of expected it, even after all the hype. I'm like, even after Shogun 2, um, I, ever since Empire, I've been very uh, weary, or how do you say, you know, just uh, trying to 
keep calm. Don't get too hyped up. Um, yeah, that's that's what I think so far. But there's a lot of lots of problems that you know I've put 75 hours into this game, which is pretty solid for me. I haven't played that many uh, that much of the game uh, that long since uh, I say Medieval 2. Um, and I'm expecting to put a lot more into it. But there's all these little things. For instance, um, I've got multiple campaign desyncs with my co-op partner. Lots of uh, behaviors, lots of bugs that can destroy a whole army. Naval battles, oh my god, don't even want to talk about naval battles. It, they just make no sense. Auto-resolve and, and then transport boats, killing everything. Um, let's talk about guard mode. Guard mode, loose formation. You know, those kind of decisions. Those are... I understand those decisions and why they made them, but at the same time, it's those decisions that lead us to us having less freedom with how we conduct our battles. It feels like they're trying to, uh, I don't want to say dumb down, I don't like using that term at all, but uh, simplify is definitely a word, a word for it. Things like general speeches, I don't mind that they took out because I've played many modifications that didn't have that feature. There's a huge amount of detail in this game, I mean, ridiculous amount so much more history than any other game and it's impressive for uh, for a mainstream game like this to have so much historical detail even on par with some Rome Total War mods uh, realism mods I've gone into the patch 3 beta though which hasn't improved any of my issues uh, turn times on the co-op campaign are still horrible uh, person single player campaign turn times are awesome those go down from like 3 minutes down to 30 seconds. But yeah, the AI is still doing bad stuff. <laughs> bad stuff. Um, uh, desyncs, uh, I don't know, other problems I can't really think about right now. Um, Rome itself is still on the campaign, it's just ridiculously easy mode. Everyone wants to be my friend. Uh, but And I thought, you know, you know, I guess people think that Rome is, is supposed to be easy mode, but I don't think so. I thought that you're supposed to balance on normal, like the normal difficulty. If normal is so easy, then why don't you just make hard normal? <laughs> I, I don't know, that's just a thought of mine. But yeah, as I said before, there's a great level of detail, but it's lacking in gameplay details, like, um, let's say the tech tree. The tech tree is lacking quite a bit on the, not the tech tree, the skill trees. Uh, for instance, your family tree, they've left that out, and your characters, agents, skill trees. Now that skill tree is in the encyclopedia, for whatever reason, I have no clue. And, you know, it, if we didn't know that, it was mostly a guessing game as to how to choose our skills and our, our uh, all our strengths. You know, this is actually the first time I'm considering modifying my game since Rome Total War. I haven't used a mod since Rome Total War. Uh, that was, those were the realism mods, Europa, Barbarom. I didn't use any for me Medieval 2. I didn't use Darth mod or any of that stuff. I thought the game was... those games like Empire, well I didn't like Empire, but Napoleon, Shogun 2, they were fine on their own, those vanilla games. But yeah, now I'm actually considering a mod because so many features have been left out. For instance, politics. Can that be fixed? Oh, I'm sorry, wait. People say fix a lot, when in reality what they're asking for is change in the design decisions. They're not bugs that can be fixed, they're intentional decisions of features being left out. So it's not, not something to fix, it needs to be changed. Can politics, a fully fleshed politics system be put in which tells us, hey, civil war's gonna happen. I mean, right now civil wars are totally random, you have no idea why or what causes it. It's really random. Uh, what's, what else? Family tree system? Can that be put back in? I don't know. How about a free-for-all battles in multiplayer? Can those be put in? It seems simple, but ap apparently it's not. You look here, look at guard mode. Look at what's happening here. Those guys are just standing still in formation. The, the Macedonians. I mean, there's a lot of weird design decisions that just don't make any sense, and a lot of it definitely comes down to the testing. I remember it was back in, what, E3? That... They, they said they were moving from alpha into beta, and that was like, what, two to three months of beta testing? That's nothing. So yeah, a lot of weird things that happened in this game. Just weird. Um, other issues? Let's see. 
Yeah, UI design decisions. Lots of like, they just they just love their pop-up menus, eh? Like you you have to hover over a certain area to see everything you want to see. Uh, real weird design decisions. I do like the UI unit cards though. Those are those took a bit of getting used to, but I like them in the end. Um, campi campaign AI still needs a lot of work. I don't understand uh, campaign AI at all. Like um, allies, not allies. Sorry, everyone wants to be my friend first of all in my own game. Um, in my other game, I was playing as Mastodon with the co-op as Epirus, and everyone wanted to fight us. Even my my former client states and all that stuff, or not my client states, my allies, my former allies. Um, weird, and then you get little weird things like uh, you'll get like Rome will migrate to Greece, and then Carthage will migrate to Italy, and then the barbarians will like go in a merry-go-round, uh, like those in StarCraft terms, like base swap, bait, right? You'll take out each other's bases, and then you'll basically be swapped. It's it's crap like that, and I think I've noticed that since Fall of the Samurai. That kind of stuff, yeah, it, it's um, it's clever, but sometimes the AI is too clever. You know what I mean? Um, there's too much um, too much focus on trying to get around your stacks that you've made. There's no focus like in the old days where the AI would actually try to build an army to defeat your stack. They always try to go around it, which is, you know, it, it is strategically good, but it's not fun. And I think that's one part where. Uh, the CI needs to make a, a decision for gameplay over realism. It's that kind of stuff. And then, uh, look at this. Look at this. Um, Auxilia Infantry will try to hold formation uh, rather than seek out cavalry, like in Rome Total War, the old one. And that's just weird. Uh, it, it makes them very ineffective against cavalry. Cavalry will last much longer because of that. Anyways, guys, that's my rant. Sorry, I'm <laughs> not as good at long talking videos like a lot of other uh, YouTube Let's Players and commentators, but hopefully you found the video interesting at least. Just wanted to say that my Europa Barbaron campaign, I'm still planning on completing that, you know, maybe in only one to two videos now, uh, not like the whole thing like I was hoping to do, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping to at least show you what happens in the end. So yeah, look out for those videos, and hopefully CA gets sacked together, which I don't know, we'll see. See you guys later.